Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Dustin. Tremendous story there. Well, last week on Faith and Friends, we took you back in time a little bit through an interview with former TV44 employee John Ondo. And we told you about the story of the King family, a young Ohio couple raising their twins and dealing with a recent military deployment. But that was nothing compared to what they were about to face. Here's John with their amazing story of strength, courage, fear, and God's amazing, miraculous hand. This has definitely been the biggest trial that I've ever faced. <laughs> In just a few years of marriage, Ben and Kelly King have faced more mountains than most couples face in a lifetime. Actively involved in ministry, and Ben also active in the National Guard, they received one of their first surprises when they got their first ultrasound during their first pregnancy. Finally had our first ultrasound in the emergency room, and uh, that's when nurses and everyone came in and, and said that everything was fine, but... You're actually having twins. <laughs> taken back. Despite the surprise, Kelly delivered two beautiful healthy girls. Uh, Isabel um, and Eden are our two girls. Two healthy girls, yeah. However, just months later into their new lives as parents, Kelly remembers the day that Ben brought the news that all military families fear. As soon as he told me, I have something to tell you, <laughs> I was like, no, and I just started crying. I got called up to move to a different unit that was getting deployed. So then I just asked, you know, okay, where and when, and where to get all the, so the details, but he didn't really know all the details at that time, but he did know Afghanistan. After a year of training, Ben shipped off to Afghanistan for his tour. Meanwhile, Kelly used social media and Skype to keep Ben in touch with his daughters. So I, I mean, but I missed kind of, uh, them beginning to walk, um, them beginning to talk, and really starting to develop their personalities, but I did get to at least see them. I just, I felt God in that time, and He showed me that He was with me, of course, and He showed me the story of the disciples in the boat. Yeah, and um, so it was, it was just like He was telling me, you know, I'm I'm in this with you. You're not alone. And that was really, that was good. But one of the most serious storms lay just ahead of the King family. One day, Kelly began to notice Eden is struggling to stay balanced and was becoming sick. She took Eden to the ER to find out what was the cause. So we went to the ER and um, they looked over everything and like, okay, well, let's just do a CAT scan. She did her CAT scan, and we waited, and the doctor and the nurse came in and said, well, we, you know, we found something. She has a large brain tumor. God promised me these babies, you know, and I prayed for these babies. And this is not of God. Just utter shock and disbelief and sadness all kind of hitting you like a ton of bricks out of left field. So they had just told me that Eden has a brain tumor. They want to do surgery in three days. And we're trying to get word to Ben, who's in Afghanistan. And uh, my job at that point was just to stay as strong as I possibly can for my two little girls. They came to me and they told me that my wife had sent a Red Cross message. And a Red Cross message is basically something back home has happened, serious, someone's injured, hurt, or even killed. And I immediately, I get, I get on with her and I see that she's in a hospital. Well, that was a tough conversation. So I had basically two days to get home. I knew that already people were praying. So I did have a piece. I like to do graphic design, so I'll, I'll do something. So I developed this picture, and it, it said, Fight for Eden, and um, it had a picture of Eden on it. And I just put it as my profile picture. When I finally got home and I saw, I looked, and it was just my Facebook, Twitter, all that was just blanketed with this photo that I had created. And um, people, 
you know, talking about it and praying for us and, you know, supporting us during it. It was overwhelming. While Ben was in transit home, Kelly was sending Eden into surgery. I would say that was the hardest part, was just letting her go. Eden made it through her long surgery with flying colors, and the doctors informed Kelly that they had removed all the tumor. And not long after that, Ben was reunited with his family. You, know, you see your baby laying on the bed with everything on him, tubes and wires and everything connected, and just kind of, uh, it just breaks your heart. Eden faced a long road to recovery, including additional radiation treatment. However, there is no sign of a tumor, and Kelly believes that they've all learned a very valuable lesson. That every Christian will come to a point in their life where they have to realize if God's word is true. And I would, I would definitely say that this has been that point in my life where I've tested God's word with my life and my family's life and um, it's, it's been amazing to see that God is faithful and yeah just that his word is true I think that's the biggest thing that I've learned. For more information on this or any Ondo Media project, visit www.ondomedia.com or you can email John at ondomedia.com. Mark and Jennifer.